Hi guys, welcome to Learn the Electronics Repair. I'm with Carlos again, you can see, and we're making another video with the X-Tools D1 Pro 20 Watt laser cutter and engraver. Yeah. <laughs> now, we're going to try two different things today. So one is something we tried last time that wouldn't work, which was cutting through clear acrylic. It would cut through, but it's half melted at the same time. Now, Carlos will chat to you in a moment. One of the subscribers had some very good suggestions on this, and we're going to try what he was telling us. The other thing we're actually going to try today is to etch some PCBs. We've been saying we're going to do this for some time. We've got some other ideas, so we'll also try that and see if it works. So, Carlos, what did the guy say about cutting the acrylic? Okay, so I was uh, discussing with one of the viewers that had an idea uh, about uh, Stale War... Uh, Stale War Computers. Stale War Computers, yeah, yeah. that's correct. And he, he suggested we elevate the acrylic from the actual bottom piece because it was essentially reflecting the heat from the bottom piece and remelting it and resealing it. This is the metal sheet that we have underneath yeah. to protect the bench from being cut into. Yeah, pr pretty much. Yeah. So, and he, he's actually right because not most lasers come with a uh, honeycomb structure just to prevent the reflected heat. So, not a bad idea. <laughs> I've forgotten about that completely. <laughs> the other thing we didn't try last time was to switch the air assist on, which blows the smoke away. Yeah. Uh, we did try it on plywood later and we found it gave a much cleaner cut, less burning. So, yeah, so we'll put that on as well, yeah? Yeah, we'll, we'll do bo both things and hopefully it will <laughs> cut through. Good. And I have another idea, just to make the initial cut better, maybe we can try some Sharpie to darken the actual acrylic so we get a cleaner cut from the beginning. Okay. And maybe on the back surface as well, so it has a color to adhere to. Yeah. Because laser goes is, is light, so it goes right through clear stuff. Yeah. So it's a lot harder for it with clear. Um, I know it will cut uh, black and uh, green and red. It has a hard time with blue, uh, okay. I heard somewhere, but uh, <laughs> Never tried it, yeah. we have to try to know exactly. <laughs> exactly. You may notice we have two hard drives under here. These are just scrap 2.5 inch hard drives. They happen to be the same model, therefore the same thickness. So that's what I'm actually using just to prop the acrylic on because it needs to be perfectly level. Yeah, uh, th that's the only issue here. You can't use anything uh, more than two level things. You can also use a, sm a spike bed. That's what is using commercial. A bed of nails? Or yeah, bed of nails. Effectively, yeah. yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It holds it in very small points, but you can still it's still stable. Yeah, and you can practice your yoga on it while you're not using it to work. If you, <laughs> if you like a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, I've been, I've been called that on occasion, but <laughs> I think we can say we know what Carlos was talking about there. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, get this set up and let's do it. We'll use the free software that comes with this laser, yeah. which means you don't have to go out and buy software such as Lightburn. Yeah, uh, Lightburn has its users, obviously, but uh, if you can get through and it's not a lot more complicated to do the same thing in another software why not use the free option exactly exactly okay so let's set the software up and let's have a look okay let's go okay my glasses on two guys here we go it's incredible that you don't see the laser with these glasses at all no just sort of went to actually the cut that's quite near the edge of the corner, but... Yeah, but that's what we're going for. So. And it doesn't matter if we burn uh, the actual metal a little bit. No. Okay, I see fire. Uh, the, the air assist. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it, it's charred when the air assist is not on. That's interesting. Is there fire when the air assist is on? Ooh, that's a lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. So I smell burnt acrylic. That's not good for your health, obviously. No. We have some fans around, so don't worry. You're essentially melting it. So. Yeah. <laughs> so this is somewhat working, I guess. Like we will find out. I wouldn't say he was wrong by any means. 
but I think clear acrylic uh, acrylic is out of the reach for this machine. I'm guessing. I just better because in fact when it says wow, it's just going to tra- pass yeah. anything transparent. We can try with a sharpie though. Yeah, uh, it's an idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Let's give it a go. After <laughs> this, and remember this time to switch on the air assist straight away before yeah. you start. It's because. The actual fan on the laser is noisy as well, yeah. so you, you, you forget the other one is even noisier. <laughs> well, true. Okay, so let's see what we got. There, assist off, please. Thank you. We got one, one very burnt bit of acrylic. Yeah. Warm? Actually, not that warm. So, it remelted it, even without the support, so yeah. it, it won't fall off immediately. But no. let's try the idea about, uh, yeah, black fingers. Black fingers, yeah. <laughs> and the black marker pen. Uh, over there. So let's try m- with markers. Uh, th- this is uh, probably not going to work. <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> it works better for the etching thing we're going to do later. Mm-hmm. A big spender. Uh, yeah. 80 cents. <laughs> 88, I'll have you know. Eight. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> 10% more. It actually is. Okay. The, the idea is here so th- when the laser hits, it, it doesn't go through immediately. No. So it cuts. It doesn't reflect as yeah. much. Exactly. And, uh, and it goes through the plastic and refracts. So mm-hmm. I'm going to cover both sides. Okay. So it has something to bite on the light, actually. So it doesn't go right through immediately. Software, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, just in case if you're interested. Okay. So I'm just going to reduce the size of the cut. Okay. So we can put it closer to the corner. Okay. There. Okay. Uh, Same thing as before. Seven passes, three in speed. Three on speed, 100 on power. Yeah, I chose this arbitrarily, but uh, seven passes, uh, because three almost did the job, yeah. se- se- seven so should definitely you, uh, do it. Unless seven actually just send me melts this, but we'll see. It should fall off. By yeah, 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 it should just drop off. Okay. So if it does its job correctly, it will just fall off. Okay. Okay, so let's try it out. Process, framing, and then go back over here, there. Okay, and I press the button. Yep. We're way off. Yeah. <laughs> so let's let's do this. That's one of the beauties of this laser. It doesn't have a home position, so we can actually position it manually where we want it to start. Uh, it actually has a homing feature as well, but yep. you can also do the manual positioning. So it actually helps a lot. It uh, has both. It, yeah, it gives you the options. Okay. So let's frame again. Mm-hmm. A little down. A little bit. There we go. That should cut off the tip. Okay. No. Yep. No, no, no. No, you can go the other way. Yeah. There we go. That one. Okay. Okay, let's let's go for it. (laughs) There it is. Yeah. And now it's cutting. Yeah, now it's cutting. Smells like plastic now. <laughs> what I was expecting last time. I see a small flame on the bottom side. Uh-huh. That means it's actually cut it's through, through in two passes. So the the sharpie is doing something. Oh, the sharpie is catching on fire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, he said it would do something, guys. It's catching on fire. <laughs> Hmm, you should have filmed it from the side, I think it's it. <laughs> I don't know if the camera gets damaged uh, with the laser light, so uh-huh. maybe no. <laughs> Hopefully not. It won't damage your eyes. Uh, yeah. I've seen some stupid comments in different uh, videos. Uh, oh, about the laser on the video damaging the eyes on the when you watch yeah. the monitor? Yeah, not going to happen. So okay, the, what do we have? Okay, so it looks better. On this? Okay, so it mel- it's melted. It's melted. So clear acrylic is a no-go. So yep. that, that we put that to bed immediately. Yeah, that ends that theory. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so in that case, well, we did try it as was suggested. Mm-hmm. So let's go on to add some PCBs. Yep. 
we've been promising to do this for quite a while guys so we're actually going to try to etch PCB using the laser now we've tried this before with just copper clad board but because this is so reflective it just bounces the light back off yeah if we can get it to cut through the copper clad it then cuts immediately through the fiberglass substrate as well because yeah yeah that burns <laughs> easily so you can't control it as we have found to actually cut where you want the tracks to be open circuit yeah you, you can't cut the actual copper but what you can do is what we're going to do next yeah which is to etch the pcb so i've taken a piece of copper clad board now this end i've used black marker pen just a, a normal yeah. permanent marker and we've colored this in black the other side we've tried with this spray can yeah now this was supposed to be black spray paint but somebody brought white spray paint and to give a hint, it wasn't Carlos <laughs> <laughs> this time, okay? So somebody... Is, is yeah. that I, I, I'm uh, safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So somebody here brought the wrong paint and it wasn't Carlos. So we're going to try this anyway to see if it'll work on white. So we'll show you which PCB we're actually going to try and etch. It's a fairly simple 555 timer circuit. Uh, we'll explain how we get the image, what we've done with it first, and then we'll try it. So we took this image from the internet, uh, just uh, googled the 555 timer <laughs> and took the first uh, one that looked good. Here it is. Was this one, yeah? Uh, uh, it's a DC motor speed controller. So, And here is the address, just in case if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Electronics-lab.com. Uh, yeah. uh, the only thing you have to think about, it's a little bit weird, you have to get the sizing correctly. This one is perfect because it comes with the sizes already. When you do this, and you have to invert colors as well because you want black where it needs to remove the copper and not the other way around. This would yeah. remove the traces, <laughs> so yeah. that wouldn't work too well. So what I did was use Krita to set the size in millimeters and then Invert the image. Invert the image colors. Yeah. So, so this is like a negative of the original yeah. one. In fact, it is a negative. Yeah. So uh, this just needs to be saved and we're actually good to go. Okay. Uh, this is a quite a small board and uh, some of the traces are really small. So hopefully it turns out good. The small dots, I'm guessing, won't show up. No, this would be the drill points for drilling through the yeah. board afterwards anyway. But the rest should be fine, actually. So okay. I'm going to put uh, save this. So we can uh, use it in the program as um, it's called PC a, as a raster yes. image. So it's PC bottom. We call it PC bottom inverse. Yeah. Okay. So next uh, step is to actually go into the PCB application. <laughs> Remove our pre previous attempts. Okay. <laughs> you insert an image. There we go. And we have it. Yeah. So what I am going to do is this, just in case, so it doesn't hit the end stops. Yeah. We're still going to move the head manually. So we okay. Can. Okay. So let's see this. So do we ne now need to set the power for engraving rather than cutting? Yes. So it is actually an engrave. Okay. So it, it, it did detect it. Okay. The power is way Very too low. So we choose a, effectively you choose a <laughs> um, material. I, I would guess you choose something like wood. Okay. Uh, because it's paint we're going to remove. Okay. And it's quite flammable. Okay. So uh, you want air assist on your laser if you want to do this. Okay. Because you want to blow off. Uh, oh, blow off. You want to blow out <laughs> <laughs> any stray fires that may yeah. occur. <laughs> okay. The, the, that, that's the reasoning. <laughs> okay. Least. Okay. So let's go for balsa wood. Okay. It's 60% power. The speed is 150. So okay. that's pretty good. And one pass. I'm not really sure one pass will do it, uh, but we'll we'll notice quite fast yeah. if we can see the copper or not afterwards. Yeah. And I assume actually this will not cut the copper clad, so you can always spray paint back on and, and yeah, go again. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. And if you leave it in the exact same position, you just press process again and do it. Uh, okay. More. Excellent. Uh, I would recommend to paint the surface and uh, test out how many passes it takes. Okay. I'm guessing one because it's a laser okay and it's black paint and it's 20 watt and it's really powerful yeah, yeah. okay 60 percent is more than enough okay okay so let's see here First. oh look 
uh, the, this application actually would have saved us the hassle of inverting the image. Yeah. So, oh, okay. So you, you can just press the invert button and you get the inverted oh, color. Oh, now we know. Yeah, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> so that's really good. Yeah, it's useful, guys. Yeah. So let's see if we can frame it. And it says framing. So let's try with the white paint first. I'm quite curious to see if it works. So we need to get it on the board. Yeah. Okay. There um, we go. Hit the button. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, that looks really okay. good actually. So I'm go just going to move it in slightly. Yeah. Slightly. And we go again. Okay. That looks really good. So it's just time for trying to burn it off. Okay. Uh, and the glasses it is. Yeah, it glasses it is. Uh, I'm just going to find mine. Oh, they're over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Carlos needs to tell it to engrave. Yeah, yeah, and then I, I have to hit the button. Okay. Yeah, so we are collaborating. <laughs> okay. Here we go, guys. It's actually burning off the paint quite easily. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> Smells like burnt paint. Yeah. Exactly what you would expect. I think this will work really First well. First time, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure, guys, if you can see that as well as we can. Uh, you will uh, eventually when the head goes over, but that looks amazing. Yeah. And the white paint works. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no questions asked. Oh, this, this will turn out great. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. But we will try with the black marker pen as well. Yeah, we'll so do, you can, you can do both, both, both sides, methods. so you yeah. can try it out. No problem with these as well, like, with my glasses, it's just yeah. not fit. It, no, actually I have them on an angle down as well. Oh. <laughs> 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 because they don't fit with my glasses. No. Guys, this is looking really, really good. So we have a, a huge chance of this actually working. <laughs> Which, which, uh, which of course we knew. No, no. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is all experimental, by yeah. the way. This shallow guys you know with the electronics repair yeah. is real. Yeah, no, oh. nothing ventured before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I gave a brief explanation where I got the idea from. I saw a video like ten years ago from Ben Heck. He used, he does a lot of console modding and stuff. He was part of Element 14. Uh, show. Element 14 is that another channel? You know, Element 14 is a huge uh, components uh, seller okay. in the US. Ah, okay. So th they promoted him to make stuff all the time. So, and, and he dis did this with a CO2 laser way back in the day because he needed PCBs for a pinball machine that didn't exist yet. And, the, and the fab houses were taking too long to make them. So. Okay. He did the best, next best thing and did this. <laughs> right. Well, that was with the CO2 laser. That was some yeah. really expensive equipment. Yeah, and he said this should probably work with a, a, a diode laser, but they were really expensive at that time still. Yeah. Uh, the 10 years ago, th this was probably impossible to get as a hobbyist. Yeah. This should work with a lower power laser as well, seeing how well it cuts. And the fact we run it sixty percent. Yeah. So the, this should work on a ten watt laser. Either. Yeah. But but this la this laser does make it a lot faster than the other one. <laughs> yeah. So. That is coming out, guys. I'm sure you can see that now on the screen, just how well it's actually yeah. etching this PCB. It looks amazing, perfect, and the tracks are not too small. Nope. And the sizing is spot on. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. So how long is this, this what, taking five minutes, I guess? Yeah, it should take about five minutes. No, not even that. No. Uh, three minutes left, it says. Three minutes used. Oh, three minutes used, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Time passes really slowly when you record. Yeah, it does. You have to fill it with something, and sometimes you don't know what to say. The weather's good. Yeah, it is. It is. It's really, really warm and nice here. Yeah, we had some, uh, I say crazy weather, but a couple of weeks ago we had a Kalima, which is a heat wave. Yeah. Uh, where the wind comes from the Sahara, so the air is hot. And yeah. we had, well, one evening we've been to Ikea, yeah. heading back into town. It's almost six in the evening, and mm. it was 45 degrees on the sides of the chemistry. That was in the shade. Yeah, yeah, so that day was a good 45. And you know what, guys? We got an amber warning. 
Not a red one, yeah. like the UK would have. No. If he's approaching 40, <laughs> he's amber, you know? Will that fit in the black area? I think this may fit in the black area. <laughs> Will it's not hard to add a sharpie, it should just no. draw a little more. It's done. Okay. okay. Guys, you can see it. So even like the drill hole dots are visible, yeah? That is impressive. Yeah, that is really good. It's better than I expected, uh, yeah. considering it's our first attempt. <laughs> yeah, with white spray paint that yeah. was supposed to be okay. black. <laughs> so spray paint is a big win. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you're going to do this, spray paint, I think it's going to win over the Sharpie. Yeah, I will actually mention, by the way, this is matte white. Yeah, uh, they don't use glossy white because... Or glossy un anything. An unnecessary power... Yeah, more reflection. I I think actually we can actually reduce the power even, yeah. and it still works. Well, I think we'll go with the same, and we'll, yeah. we'll now go with the black, and let's see how well this works. So immediately I see it's actually removing black paint. Yeah. Uh, looks to be do the same job actually. Yeah, very much so. Actually. So, the only thing left here is oh, the air assist. Oh, of course. We didn't even good. have air assist on last time. <laughs> no, we probably should have had. Yeah. Because it blows away fumes and it makes a higher resolution yeah. picture. Well, to show how well that works on white mass paint without air assist. Yeah, that, that was yeah, yeah. impressive. Right? Because that does add some expense to the cost of the laser. Yeah. So, the only thing that can go wrong with paint uh, is that the uh, etchant seeps underneath and yeah. ruins the pads. Okay. Uh, black marker doesn't have that problem because it doesn't dissolve in etchant. Okay. So, there's plus and minus. And, of course, uh, when everything is done, you have etched out the copper, you just use uh, acetone and you can remove the marker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The, the paint is a little more difficult, you need a scrubbing pad, I, uh -huh. I have one with me. Okay. And uh, we are actually heating up the etchant in the background, uh, yep. on a crude setup with a heat plate. Uh, with actually my cheap preheater guys that you've seen on the lot of the, chat, on the, lot of the yeah. videos. Yeah. And it's working quite nicely, uh, it's recommended to have it at 50 degrees C. You can build an ag agitator uh, yeah. with a plastic container uh -huh. and an aquarium pump that just spins around the yeah. fluid, so it gets new fluid all mm -hmm. the time. And some of the some of the more advanced ones actually tip. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They rock it back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but we're just going to use a sponge and just rub it over slowly. I have gloves, nitrile gloves that are resistant to acids. Okay. With me. So well, we can bring the etchant onto this bench in a moment. Yeah. So we'll, you guys will we'll see we'll it show, anyway. We'll show you everything we are using, and yeah. hopefully, we can actually make two PCBs today. Yeah. This is looking good. I'm not quite sure this is as good as the other one. That's looking really tidy. I see the, the holes are still there, uh, still there in, be yeah. in the middle. So <laughs> yeah, the, the quality is really high. I think actually before I switched on the air assist at the top, it kind of blurred the yeah the, the, the text the text yeah. So the air assist does work. It certainly helps. Yeah. So it's amazing, you think, how well the other one of the with it. Yeah, it could be the, with the color, or we are over uh, overusing the power, maybe. Yeah, way maybe. too much power. I think actually we can do it in twice uh, or half the speed, uh, half the time, or double the speed. Double the speed, yeah, yeah, yeah. without any issues because it's burning off the paint perfectly. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I'm really happy with the results actually. And now we can actually, I'm guessing this will work fine. Could be that th there's minute uh, amounts of paint that will stop the etchant from ac okay. activating. So that, that's the only concern I have. That you yeah. can't see it with the naked eye, but it's still there. Yeah. A small film, if you. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's almost done now, actually. A small uh, word of caution, when you're doing this type of work with uh, etchants and stuff, gloves. 
Yeah, it, it doesn't hurt at the beginning if you put uh, get a drop, but it will keep burning until you neutralize it with, uh, let's say, baking powder, uh, yeah. baking powder or baking soda. What with soap and water? Soap and water works if you uh, just keep it running yeah. until you remove the acid from. Yeah. Uh, of course, if it's nit uh, nitric acid or something, it uh -huh. immediately submerge your hand and then uh, call a doctor. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. There we have it. Once again, we'll zoom down, we'll have a look. Yeah. Yeah, it looks to me like the white paint has done the better job. This first bit, this is where I didn't have the air assist on, and then I switched it on. But in comparison, this one was done without air assist. Yeah. So with air assist, this will, it will turn even better. Yeah. So uh, the, what's it called? The Sharpie it needs another pass. Yeah. To burn off the little main. Properly, yeah. It, I think it will still work though. Okay. Well, we'll get the etching solution up to temperature and then we'll try. Yeah. Guys, this is the etching solution we're using. So this is a powder. Sodium persulfate, 100 grams. This makes half a litre of etchant. I bought these from eBay. I got three bags for about nine pounds, including postage, so they weren't expensive. Yeah, three pounds each. Yeah, and this will etch more than one PCB. So once we've used this once, we can store it in a plastic container mm -hmm. and use it again. This is the solution made up with a half a litre of water. Yeah. I actually put it on my preheater. You can just see the thermometer in here, if I can just get mm. it. Just a word of caution, don't use aluminium. Uh, okay. Because it actually dissolves aluminium as well. And you can <laughs> see that this is about 37 degrees. So it says up to 50. It's not as hot as that, but... No, but the hotter it is, the faster it goes. But we, we are not in a hurry. No. Uh, so tools you, you want to have. A sponge, a, sm uh, a soft sponge, and then the hard sponge for removing the paint plate. Okay. A paintbrush, just in case. Okay. Uh, you can also mix it up with Okay. That. And then nothing else. Oh yeah, really important, gloves. gloves. <laughs> uh, you, usually people don't like gloves because they remind the, of the doctor, yeah. proctologist. But in this case, <laughs> it's really necessary. It's really necessary. Yeah. These are nitrile gloves. Uh, they are resistant to acid, uh, gasoline, and okay. other stuff. Good. So these are really good for this. Uh, the, the white normal ones the doctor uses works well as well. Okay, those are the latex, I think. Yep, latex. Yep. So then we just put these PCBs in the yeah, bath? In, in the bath and okay. just wait. Uh, let's do it. This is a little bit of a waste, obviously, because it's going to waste all yeah, this manage. space, but... It's purely for demonstration. It's just for demonstration, so just put it in. Yeah, and the same with the other one? Yeah, this one won't work as well because I see black spots, especially the yeah. top, but... We'll give it a shot. And do we need to try and stop this one sitting on the other one? Yes, so that's what I was going to do. Okay, if so we can. I'm going to angle both. Okay. And then they meet in the middle under. Okay, and so get in there with a bit of luck. Yeah, so if I'm lucky. Okay, which both I think are we submerged. are. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm using a bit of paper on the side to okay. dab off the fingers so I don't touch Richard by mistake. Okay. So this takes a little while, obviously. Mm -hmm. How long and do you think this will take? 15, 20 minutes? Yeah, uh, you will see it start bubbling up uh, okay. a little bit after a while. You can speed up the process with the uh, sponge. Uh, yeah. You just drag it over and over and uh, you can actually do it without the bath. Yeah. Ju just dip the sponge well, in. Will that possibly wipe off the paint? Yeah, so we want to uh, j just do it at the end, just yeah. to remove small remnants. Uh huh. But we can agitate the fluid a yeah, little bit. Yeah, that's what the paintbrush was for. And this is why I should be using the gloves. Yeah. Would you like to take this paint for Yeah, me? I, I can do this. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. So, okay, so uh, how etchant works is it uh, reduces... I'm just going to wash my hands, by the way, guys, just in case. Yeah. yeah. So the etchant works uh, by reducing the copper into copper sulfate, uh, normally. Uh, th this is another solution, so the actual chemical uh, uh, reaction, I don't know exactly what it is, but it it's probably bringing out the copper from the solution and making uh, a powder inside uh, that's suspended in the liquid. Usually it turns green or something. In the case of copper sulfate, you get blue. 
And you can actually reduce it back out again to copper. So you get new copper as well. So I'm uh, quite concerned this one won't work at all because it still has paint on it. And uh, that will inhibit the etchant from actually interacting with the copper underneath. Of course, if I rub it enough, I'll remove this very thin paint and it will still work, hopefully. So it's going to be a little while ab uh, of this. Uh, how you see it's done? You will see plastic through this. So you will see actually the the the, cop uh, the cladboard underneath. So you won't see any copper anymore. Right now it's just copper. And it's quite thick copper, so it will take a little while. That's why people build agitators and uh, other devices. Uh, so it moves, it bubbles. So this can take a few minutes. And the heat, the hotter this is, the faster this goes. But yeah. We are not set up for a professional PCB manufacturing. <laughs> Hopefully Richard is okay and didn't get acid on his fingers. Because it starts burning immediately and it kind of feels like... Uh, uh, let's see... Like a tickling sensation first and then uh, it's, it goes over to burning instead. So, as you can see on this one, actually just using the brush, I've removed the stray paint that was left by, uh, back. So it is working. And the agent is, uh, is actually working in the background. Hey guys, back. <laughs> is it working? Yep, yeah, and I actually fixed the black one. Oh, good. By brushing it. So ah, yeah. So I see a fingerprint right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So that that's will be either Richard's or mine that's engraved here forever. It could be proven. <laughs> it can. It was probably mine. <laughs> yeah, probably. You've handled them a lot yeah. more than me. Mm -hmm. But this is working. It's turning greenish, uh, yeah. the actual liquid. So okay. it is dissolving something. Could okay. be the paint. <laughs> so now we just wait. Yep. Okay. Okay, so we're uh, back halfway. Uh, as you just, can before you say, because I'll just yeah. mention we've put it back onto the preheated, warm the solution up again. That's mm. the noise you guys can hear. Yeah. Okay, so you can see here there's the discoloration. That's actually the plastic underneath. So it's actually doing its job already on the black side. That that's strange to me, but it could be that I was brushing it. So maybe this motion here will help it dissolve faster on the other one. Yeah. Uh, you you can't forget either that it's copper. The entire backside is copper and it's yeah. uh, uncovered, so it's, it has to dissolve that as well. Yeah. So, but this seems to work nicely. Uh, of course, uh, hot etchant works faster than cold etchant. Yeah. But actually, the black one is winning out now because of the speed. But yeah, that could be because I was brushing it back and forth. Uh huh. Or maybe the white one left a residue that can't be penetrated. It's always possible. Uh, yeah. So. We don't know actually. We'll see you in a moment again. And guys, we have a result. So obviously this is the one done with the white paint and you can see it's come out very well. All the tracks are there. There's no breaks in the tracks. There's no bridges in the tracks. Some of the little dots were visible as well yeah, in the pads. Are, not all of them, but some. No, but some, yeah. So these are where the drill holes are for putting the holes for the through hole components. But that is a usable PCB and it came out really quite well. The black one actually came out better, but we've washed these in the sink to wash off all the acid. Before we wash these in the sink, this was all black traces. So this has come off during the washing yeah. in water. But that actually has come out better. The tracks are much more defined. If you look on the white one here to here. Yeah, and this we can see all the holes. 
So Carlson and myself were discussing this. Now, it may be because with this one, we had air assist on. Mm. And with the white one, we didn't have air assist on. Both have given us a usable PCB. This appears to be the better one. The only problem with this one is there are a few places like here where it's etched through. Can you see the little line? It's probably used to see if we clean the black paint off. Yeah. But with the black marker pen, it's very difficult to get an even coating. Yeah. So I think it's up to technique there. So if you cover it on, uh, uh, let's say, diagonal first on this side, and then you mm -hmm. go on the other side, you shouldn't get you should get a cross on all the places. Yeah. So there is always a path for the electricity to go. So even if this happens, uh, Richard did a side to side. Yeah, I didn't tell him otherwise, so uh -huh. my fault. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so side to side means you get streaks. Yeah. And they are so small. Th th this gouge you can uh, yeah. down here. This gouge here is actually was a streak. Yeah, in it, the, in yeah, the it's face. a streak of the actual brush yeah. tip. There is another way to do this uh, easier even, uh, and it's buying better pens. Uh, okay. Richard bought uh, El Cheapo Chinese pens. Yeah. Uh, no fault of his. Uh, if you buy Sharpie brand, works really well because it sticks and it doesn't dissolve itself. Yeah. The problem with these pens is they have a little bit of solvent inside and it dissolves the previous layer, layer you put down. Yeah, <laughs> so, so you get streak, a lot more streaking. The Sharpie doesn't do that. It just leaves a black. Uh, yeah, so that's something to try then. Yeah. But what we need to do now to finish this off is just to remove the paint. Yeah. And then we'll have a PCB. So I think I should prove our alcohol. That's what we have really here. I yeah. don't have anything else. Uh, usually at home, I use acetone. I still the wipes. Okay. <laughs> and it removes it like butter. The, the fingernail stuff. Yeah, the fingernail stuff. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forget. Uh, this is uh, yeah. <laughs> mostly men watching. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but uh, what do we put on the sponge? Or? Yeah. Uh, on the actual coarse side. Okay. So we'll try this. A little square. Uh, scrubbing. Oops, Oops, I have quite a bit. Yeah, okay. Uh, just scrub a little bit. Oh, oh! See? That's magic. I just get a bit of kitchen roll. Yeah, yeah, so you don't get that everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> it, it came out much faster than I expected, actually, guys. <laughs> okay. It doesn't work. I'm not used to this sort of domestic work, but there you go. <laughs> so uh, it seems like the IPA actually dissolves the marker. So Very easily. Yeah, so uh, that's okay. And now we can see actually the brakes in yeah. the track. These are really easy to fix. You just a, a solder bridge. And yeah. then if you want, you can put solder mask on this as well. Uh, okay. Afterwards, and it works. Okay, so there we have a PCB. It's super oh. defined. Yeah, absolutely. So this is actually usable already as, as is. Uh, just fixing the small issues. <laughs> <laughs> so the other one, I'm not sure if IPA will actually dissolve this. I don't think so. Acetone will work a lot better. For okay, that. but let's let's try again. So we'll just uh, take the sponge. Yeah. A bit more of this. A little bit this time. A little bit. Uh, <laughs> soak it in. A bit more kitchen roll. Yeah, put, put uh, it on the kitchen roll. Okay, and then let's try this one, okay? So this one will cr uh, probably require a little scrubbing to get the uh, oh, layer on top. Yeah. However, it's working quite nicely. It, it, it takes a little more manual force, but... Yeah, but not much. No, it's not. That's why I bought the sponge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. There. It, it's done. It's done, yeah. And he didn't rip off any, any of the pads or anything. No. So... But we can see clearly that this hasn't come out as well as the yeah, other so, one. Okay, so we can do a comparison side by side here from the track widths and uh, other stuff. So th yeah. th the main tracks are almost the same. Yeah, the big ones, but the real difference is the small fin tracks. Yeah, and the holes where we drill through for the yeah, components. they're not visible here, like you can no. see on this one and this one. But uh, this one doesn't have any breaks because it's a spray on. Yeah, paint. so th this could actually turn out better with air assist on. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's the thickness of the paint that made it look a little fuzzy yeah or if it's actually we just forgot the air assist yeah we're going to do a future try and uh, update you guys yeah obviously but the sharpie dissolved a lot faster uh, in the etchant yeah uh, it's it about double the speed of this one yeah and on top of that it's easier to get a hold of uh, spray cans uh, you have to know how to spray 
so you don't get rips. Uh, it's not hard. You just take your time. And but works. with this, we do have some breaks in the tracks, which yeah. we need to fix. So, but that is technique of using the pad, basically. Yeah, exactly. So the, there is actually no fault to the laser in this. Absolutely. In, in any of those, uh, the, this is just user error on both. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and a little bit of an experience, guys. But that is probably the first time you've seen that done. We hope you did enjoy that. We yeah. certainly enjoyed doing it. Yeah, it was one. <laughs> it was an excellent use of the X-Tool D1 Pro 20 watt laser. Yeah. It worked really, really well for this yeah. use. I haven't seen anyone else do this, so this is a unique on this yeah. channel. Uh, I've seen people do PCBs before with etchant and lasers, but uh, always CO2 lasers, never a uh, hobby. hobby. Uh, okay, the D1 Pro is more of the semi-professional semi -professional type, but it's still... Uh, uh, affordable enough uh, yeah, machine to do that. It's, it's not 12 grand like that. <laughs> ah, and that's a big difference. Yeah. Okay, so we hope once again you enjoyed that. Yeah. I enjoyed working with Carlos, always do. We have a good time making these videos. Yeah. And I'm sure you'll be seeing lots of both of us very soon in the future. We, we have a surprise for you guys we uh, certainly in the do. near future. <laughs> we certainly do. Okay, ciao for now, guys. Adios. Bye.